hey everyone, welcome to Info Flash. Say, did y'all lose power yesterday too? Yeah, when the lights went out, there I was cooking dinner. Oh, well, if we're getting specific, I was nuking a half-eaten burrito I found wedged in my couch cushions. Yeah, yeah, I know I shouldn't have. After all, I heard microwaves zap out all the nutrients, but hey, it kills the cockroaches too, so, you know, you win some, you lose some. Anyway, what was I... Right, the power outage. Apparently some plant out in Santo short cirqued. Heard the EMPs were knocking AVs out of the sky. The CPD says the blackout led to 120 mil in damages all in all. The real tragedy, though? I can't stomach a cold burrito. 120 million eddies? Hot damn. And just to get your hands on one dude. You got some cojones, V. It's a good thing you answered. I could probably use your help. Probably? Fine. I could really use your help. Can we meet? Just tell me when and where. You don't know how good it is to hear that. Swing by the Aldecaldos camp. I'll explain it all. The Aldecaldos? I thought you parted ways. Oh, look, it's a long story. Just hurry over. I'm here.
Hey, got a client. Well, actually, it's just Nancy's son who's looking to get back something that was stolen. And, yeah, that Nancy. The one who punched keys in Samurai. Oh, one more thing. If you could recover this gonk's wheels, too, that'd be real nice. So, you in? If so, find the details attached.
not be any trouble. Good sign. I'll make it quick, I promise. Come on
I remember that gig. Blew my vocal cords out so hard I couldn't speak for a week. Wow, man. That must have been fun to watch. What, the gig? No, you're not speaking for an entire week. Got your bootlegs. Huh? What bootlegs? What are you talking about? The samurai concerts, the one you hired me to find. Ooh, yeah, totally. Why didn't you say so? Shit, man. Shimura. Get the wheels too? It's parked downstairs. Keys are in the ignition. What? For real? That's fucking far out, Shum. I won't forget this. <laughs> A gig well done, V. Our client's satisfied not only to get his hands on that recording, but the wheels too. A satisfied client means a satisfied fixer. Hell, you should be satisfied too. Contracts closed and payments on its way.
What a damn shame. Uh, what about Washington's ancient history? Okay, so... Hello, we have what it, the hell else do I'm Elizabeth. Have? My husband and I, we need a you somewhat delicate matter what handled. We think you could help. My am I asking who your husband is? Actually, who are you? I'd rather not discuss details over the phone. Please, meet with us. We'll explain everything. As I said, it's a rather delicate matter. Why call me, of all people? Any particular reason? You came recommended. Yeah, who by? I'd rather not say. Not over the phone. Is there any way we could meet? Discuss some details? Sure, let's do that. I'll send you the address. See you. V, it's good you're here. Had no idea you and the Aldecaldos had made up. They continue to grind my gears something terrible. But, you know... Their family. Exactly. What happened? Spit it out. The Wraiths took Sol. The Brick Brain ventured out with a small patrol and never came back. Sure it was Wraiths? We've been observing their camp. We know they're holding prisoners, including someone important. We need to free Sol. I don't know why, but... I felt I could count on you. Belonged to a nomad family too, once. City doesn't change us all that much, I guess. That's hard to deny. Whatever goodwill you might feel, I'm sure you won't turn down one of the best sniper rifles on the West Coast. A Tektronica Garad. You saw it in action already. That and the gratitude of the Caldos. Sounds fancy. Once you have it in hand, fancy all of a sudden becomes kick-ass. Let's go. Mitch will walk you through the details. Well, I'll be... Pan Am and V, what's going on there? Him? After what happened to Scorpion, he shows up here? Guess probably for Saul. Ignore that. Hey, Pan Am. Seriously? You really aim to do this? Someone has to. You know you have a piston missing, right? Someone has to. Where's Mitch? He was supposed to meet me here. He'll be here any minute. Huh. You never mentioned seeking outside help. We can use all the help we can get. Okay, how you want to do this? Quietly. An open assault would be suicide. Mitch is already setting up the recon. You'll sneak into the Wraith's camp while I cover you. Going in quiet. Two's all you need. It's not that I don't want to go to serve some raffins up some justice. It's just... Look around! The last attacks left barely half of us standing. Our supplies are stuck outside goddamn Reno, and our gear... Don't get me started. We're up shit creek. Static. And I don't know if we're ever gonna find or fashion a paddle. Try as we might. So we do what Saul would want us to do. Mm-hmm. We wait. ...and gather our strength. There's Mitch. Hey there, V. I floated a drone over the race camp. We have live eyes on it. Will you take a look? Mitch, how you been? Wishing duct tape could right all the world's wrongs. And hey... ...it shouldn't be me occupying your thoughts... ...but Saul. You taking a look or not? Let's see what we got here. The Raffins can't see it. Active camo, but that practically inhales battery juice, so make it quick. They found an abandoned cement plant to squat in, with a mass of heavy gear. Locusts would be a better name for them. They fly into a place, strip it of all it's got, then move on. But this time... Do you see the wall? They've added some primitive security measures. It points to them aiming to stay longer. The question is why. Who knows for sure? But I would guess that Saul is part of the reason. 
If he's still there, we have to find a way inside. That guard post is probably connected to the rest of the camp. Our way in. Maybe, but there are also breaches in the wall. Lightly guarded sections. Do you see the tracks? Tire tracks. Their vehicles were moving heavy freight. It could have been equipment. Either that or Saul's not their only prisoner. The tracks lead to the truck. Can you scan it? That's probably the one they kept Saul in. The main building, there. Saul must be inside. Quite a spread. I feel like looking for a diamond in a hailstorm. If they haven't scrapped and gutted the place for parts, you could access the local camnet. You would just need to find the control room. The Skywalk. It connects the garage to the main structure. Okay, got some stuff to work with now. Is everything clear? Yep. Let's go get Saul. Perfect. Mitch, is the van primed? I did what I could. Take a tour. Later. Solid job. I mostly improvised, actually. Either way, it'll have to do. Hold on a minute, I got one more thing. If you find Saul hasn't flatlined, you'll probably need this. Spike Superjet. A rhino dose. It should speed up Saul's central pump. Hope so. Doubt I could carry him out of my back. So that should be everything. V, will you ride with me? Yeah, of course I'm going with you. Okay, you take the wheel. One me driving. Yep, I need to fiddle with my scope a bit. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right. Well, I really need this order. Uh... No, I have cumin and chili. Yeah, uh huh, yes. Oh, yeah. We even have a radio in here. Take it for a spin if you like. he let himself get captured. Anyone else? But Saul? Said yourself he's not at the top of his form. Yes, but... moving civilians across the border during a bombardment? Hijacking a petrochem tanker? Opening the valves? Cranking a few figure eights to set the desert ablaze and give the kids a fun show? That's the Saul I remember. All had our idols. I know. It's just... That is one hell of a storm! Looking... bad. Oh, it's bad in more than it's look. We have to move quickly. We need to hide the car. Park beside that outcrop. Okay, out. I'll find a place to roost and keep you in sight. 
You just watch yourself down there. All right, I'm in position. I have you in range. You're near the main structure. That has to be where they're holding Saul. Careful. There's a sniper perched in the tower. Okay. Main building. Watch for vermin. Saul is somewhere inside. I feel it in my bones. Remember what I told you. 
Find the control room and you'll gain access to the security cams. Found Saul, I think. Locked in the cellar. How is he? It's hard to say. Too dark. Okay, get down there and get him. Maybe we made it in time.
He's mine.
I've got a girl here. Dead. Disemboweled. And not just for her chrome, I don't think. Fucking rapids. Soulless filth. There's no line they won't cross. None. Is he breathing? I think so. Good. Grab him and get out of there. Saul. Do, do, do you have my goddamn cigar? Your cigar? I told you, sons of bitches. A cigar, some ice cold hooch, and a couple of ladies to keep me company. Either that, or you can kiss my keister. Easy, Saul. I'm here with Pan Am. Pan Am? But... she left. Not forever. Gonna get you out. You. I remember. You're that merc. Can you walk? Fuck! Something is out of whack. Come on. Family's waiting. Time to don my dancing shoes. Seems not bad at all. Demanded a cigar and some companions. That does sound like Saul. Now get yourselves out of there. Middle of a shitstorm down here. That's We're going to be a Category 5 I know. Get out of the building. I'll be right there. Panam, you're making a mistake. Another one. You're serious right now? Those devils wanted to know our location. If we drive to camp now, you'll just be setting the table for them. You look outside lately. The storm will wipe our tracks. And the scent of blood? What? Must have rustled up reinforcements. We got more chomping at our tail. Fuck! We need to shake him! <laughs> That's one way to treat an engine. Fuck off, Saul. I can't squeeze any more out of it! Cut off that tail! 
Get ready! Couldn't have done it better myself. I... Uh, thanks. You see those buildings? We'll wait it out there. I remember this place. It should be safe, at least for now. Inside, quick! I need to catch my breath. Just in time for dinner. Not hungry. I just swallowed a pound of sand. Looks like we're in for the night. A little power might be useful. Could you help me look, B? I'll search in here. Things. The angles left in a hurry. Biotechnica made them a good offer. Yeah. yeah. Right. Sell us your land. Or... You don't know that. No backhoe loaders ever showed up. Lousy rotten way to get them out. Deal with the corp, you end with nothing, Saul. Don't go there. Not now.
damn, it's getting cold. I tried to get us some heat in here, but no luck. Can you check it? Might have the magic touch. Actually, you know what? Check the fuse outside. It might have come loose. If so, just whack it back in place and I'll get this junk burning. Right. Give me a sec. Thank you. If Saul freezes to death, it will have been a wasted day. See what I see? Expiration date's from before the last war, so hopefully it hasn't turned to poison. Today's our lucky day. Lucky? Interesting choice of words. Do I hear a lecture coming on? No. No lecture. But we do need to talk. That Wraith's crap. It shouldn't have happened. They wanted everything. Our camp locations, routes, offloading points. If they knew what state we're in, one or two more raids and that'd be the end of us. And if you had mounted a raid of your own, well, that would have been the end of me. See that? Clenched teeth, furrowed brow. It's his way of saying thanks. We've had our spats. A few, like any family. They're not worth digging up. I think so too. If you'd like to come back, everyone will be waiting. Arms open wide. But there will have to be changes. No more jumping to the front of the line. And so it begins. You know what's coming. Bigger fucking problems. Maybe a war. We can't hope to handle the Raffins alone. So you would sell us out to Biotechnica? Vade, tell him it's a damn rotten idea. I gotta agree with Pan Am. Sounds like a truly shitty idea. Thanks. What could you possibly know about it? Remember the backers? I'm a bit hazy. Exactly. Joined up with the Snake Nation, then poof. Evaporated. Aldecaldo's strength has always been their independence. Give that up, my clan's fate will be yours. Or worse. Because Biotechnica just ain't Snake Nation. Thank you, V. I could not have said it better. You know what, sweetheart? We'll have plenty of time to tear at each other's throats later. That is my hope. But right now, I wouldn't mind catching a few winks. Need help? Fuck off. Huh. Do you know what they call these storms in North Africa? Haboobs. Damn, I love that word. Whoa, what was that about? To haboobs. Yeah. To haboobs. Now that packs octane. <laughs> Funny. What is? I rarely sleep with a roof overhead, yet this will be the second time with you. When you're on the road day and tonight and today, your butt basically fusing with your seat. You forget what it's like. Tell me about it. I'm still not used to it. All right. Yeah, this would make for a decent little motel, wouldn't it? Little fireplace, booze. Grumpy guy at reception is the one thing missing. Have everything you need, ma'am. Mm-hmm. I couldn't ask for more. How's your whiskey, ma'am? Hmm. Warm. 
subtle metallic aftertaste. Bold, yet smooth. Four out of five stars. Ma'am, I'm sure you'd be cozier with your shoes off. <laughs> After a full day in them, I'd fear a health code violation. Nonsense. After a day as full as today, you deserve to kick back. Oh? And what did you have in mind? Here at the Independent California, customer satisfaction is job one. Your wish is our command. Careful. You can't know what I'd wish for. Mm hmm? You know what? We better get some sleep. That was a damn long day. V, I'm glad you came. Really. Thanks. It meant a lot to me. Ooh, do you hear that? Nope. Hmm. Mm hmm. The wind has waned. I can't speak for her boobs, but when a Chinook rolls rough and rowdy across the plain, I sure can't get any shut eye. Not a wink. On behalf of the staff of the Independent California Motel, I wish you all sweet dreams. Did you sleep all right? Good work, V. Old style raid. It's all doing all right? Cracked skull, six busted ribs, bruised kidneys, but he's back at it. Bossing folk every which way. You? Hey, you gotta agree now. Next time, I choose the motel. <laughs> if there is such a time. Well, I slept like a puppy. That's a cozy shoulder you have there. It's too bad I better get rolling in a minute. You need to stay. I think you can see that. Not one of them will admit it, but... Damn, do they need you. Of course they do. Come on. Last night, when we were talking to Saul... Thanks for standing up for me. Though, one thing... The Wraiths, the Raid. It's the start of something we need to prepare for. Saul will get everything set up in camp. Whereas I... Whereas you... The Raffins wanted to know our roots, right? Well, it's the Aldecaldo's turn. Some recon is in order. One more thing. Your compensation. Please take care of her. She served me well. Putting her in good hands, Pan Am. I know. So, uh, thank you. Once again. Uh, hold up. About last night. We don't need to talk about that. I'm just not like that. So what are you like? More like this. Take care of yourself. You too, Pan Am. And remember, I'm indebted.
circumstances were different, I'd say saddle up and ride after her. But here and now, just look. Damn hard to catch a girl like that. Only hope you've got is they feel a pang and stop to wait. What's with you? Don't know, a memory, maybe. Don't matter. Okay, back to town, V. Headed up to here with this gusty outback. How you feeling? Free. No better feeling in the world. You all buried the hatchet with Pan Am? <laughs> I'd say it was more like a battle axe. These things, they're tough to bury, and even tougher to keep buried. But I'm optimistic. Her heart seems like it's in the right place. Better start heading out. Yeah, same goes for us. Only once the radiator gets a breather. Thanks, V. What you did for me, I'll never forget it.
UAV. A truck hauling cyberware crashed in the Badlands. It's top-grade chrome, but the NCPD's not in much of a hurry. Tells me they suspect the cyber psycho's the cause, and it's got them spooked. Check it out, but no killing if you can help it. Oh, interesting. doing honey listen got a golden opportunity for you word on the streets that when Waco says golden it's usually a turd wrapped in crepe paper it's a sticky situation sticky wow you're really selling this wacko job like any other just the clients will demanding clients got every right to be demanding what makes this one any different Wants everything to go exactly as planned. Willing to break the bank for it, too. Job like this needs your magic touch, V. Anyone less experienced it, just fuck it up. Huh. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Now I'm sure it's a turd in crepe paper. So what's the spec? Caroline Jablonski. Set off any buzzers for you? Murdered in cold blood. Made waves a few years back. They locked the guy up, but now there's a chance he could walk. Jablonski's family wants to balance the scales of justice for good. You'll finish him. The perp being proven guilty? Meaning he deserves to die, truly? Do I look like a criminal prosecutor to you? What did he do, exactly? I'm not a beat reporter, neither. You want the job or not? All right, I'm in. Good. Client will be waiting for you by a car at the corner of 6th and Brandon. Huh. In a car? Client wants to tag along. Be there in person when you put a bullet through the guy's eye. Good luck.
Hey, V, come here. A little closer now. Hey, Mitch. You doing okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing all right, but, uh... Meh. So many dead. So many of them good friends, too. Do you know what it's like to lose your best friend? Yeah. Name was Jackie. Uh-huh. How'd he go? Like everyone goes in Night City. Anyway, come on. Help me out with something. What? Some loose ends. Final goodbye. I don't much want to do it alone. Okay, I'll help. Come on, then. You're okay behind the wheel, right? Yeah, and? We're going for a drive. Uh-huh. And where? <laughs> You've been in the city a while, haven't you? You want to know everything now. Yesterday. A little patience, V. Now, I don't know how it was in your clan, but in the Aldecaldos, everything stays in the family. Used to be scorpions, that rig. Now she belongs to me, and my old girl's right next to it. Nice wheels. Both of them. Damn right. Out here, those wheels are our life. I'll take scorpions, you hop in the other. All right, let's go. Let's hit the road. Follow me. Mitch, you hear me? Yep. But more driving, less talking. Sun on my face, wind in my hair. Perfect. Oh, hey. Haven't seen you in a while. Not a fan of funerals. <laughs> yeah. You and death don't really mix. Say that like it's my fault. Never asked Saburo to put me on that fucking chip. Or for you to slot it in your head. Ugh, I hope this place is too far. Speaking of, where are we going? Not a clue. My, what a good little boy scout. So trusting, so accommodating. It's a scorpion. His last wish or something. Is that good enough for you? Great. Never a dull moment. We're heading for the collapsed bridge. Other side of that hill. Copy. Almost there now. Okay, copy. Here we are. Go ahead, kill the engine. We set him up behind the wheel, douse the car, then light it, let him fly off the edge. Saul won't like this. Blasting a good car, it's a terrible waste. I'll tell him it was an accident. Grab me that can, will you? Here you go. Great. Go ahead. Put it in the passenger seat. Uh, I see the driver is already behind the wheel. No point wasting time. Another hour or two and he'll puff up like a balloon. Right. Shall we get this show on the road? Let's do it. Hell yeah. I already got a rag in the can. You light it. I'll start the car.
She's burning! Quick, before she blows! May the road be kind to you, friend. Out with a bang. Just like he wanted. Soot and ash. That much remains. So, how about a beer? Sure. I'll drink to a send-off like that. Well, come on. Ah, nothing like a good cold one. Agreed. Hey, speaking of, where'd that nickname come from? Scorpion. Funny. You know, I haven't the slightest idea. Never asked him. Uh, he is Scorpio or something? <laughs> Maybe he had a big stinger. <laughs> ah, Scorpion, you old bastard. I'm gonna miss you, man. Mitch, why me? Why'd you ask me to help? Ah, oh, you seem like a good egg. I'm serious. I don't know, I, uh... I guess the fact that I'm still here to send him off right. That's thanks to you. Your path's crossed. Just for a moment. But damn, was it the right one? Listen, there's a, a few things of his you ought to have. Like this little good luck charm. Go on, it, it's yours. What is it? Not a clue. Scorpion always had it on him, no idea why. Listen, I'm gonna sit here for a while, all right? Brood in peace. Understood. I'll, uh, I'll be off then. Sure. Listen, if you want, you can take my car back to camp. Whatever works for you. Oh, and, uh, thanks, V, for today. And for getting me out of that shit back then, too. You're all right. You're really all right. Thank you. 